Hi there, this Randy, your sewing machine man. What we're looking at is a little Kenmore sewing machine, the hand wheel area. And this is like so many machines, uh, just you name it. There's just millions of different machines out there that have this, this device to set up on the side here with the releasing hand wheel and the pinch clutch inside. Uh, a lot of times people get these apart and they can't get them back together. And this video is for the folks that uh, either get a piece of thread stuck behind here and they take this off to get the thread loose or maybe they're replacing a belt and they've taken this off and things come apart real easy but getting them back together and getting them working a little bit more difficult taking it apart you take the set screw loose you don't have to take it out just get it past the stop point this backs off here's the problem here this little clutch disc you see it has the little points on the inside one two three on the outside putting this back in is a situation take the thread out put your belt back on whatever when you go to put it back together this goes together four different ways this way this way or 180 this way or this way so one way works perfectly the other three do not work at all so what you always have to make sure you do is take these little ears you notice they have a tendency to point up or down or as we put it on here would be saying pointing in or pointing out you want them to point out and uh, those of you who know what dr. pepper 1024 is this little clutch 10 to whoops it's six well I say 10 to four dr. pepper make it 10 to six you put your little points out there and you notice where they are because when you screw it back on this little screw is going to end up between these little points that stick out if it's not if it's on one of them or too close you won't release so you make sure this is loosened up and with your two inside prongs prongs pointing out these are 10 to 6 you be very careful when you put it back on get it threaded to start and you bring it around because you know there's two there's six and there's ten so when you stop threading it you want to make sure that it stops other than those places okay stop right at two so we know that's not going to work because our little ears back there so we take it off very carefully and we flip it 180 degrees and now we're at noon four and eight and we know that's going to work because it didn't work the other way so we know it's going to work now so now we're at five so we're going to tighten this down loosen it wind the bobbin tighten it run the machine so inside prongs pointing towards you outside prongs 10 2 and 6 reassemble Tighten this down. You're back in business. Thanks.